Today we're going to make an armature using Camille stems and images that you printed for your felted project and in this case it's the birds. So my bird is the tufted titmouse and I printed out two pictures, one side view and one front view. This front view, I know this because I know the bird, it's not blue, it was the way that the color printed incorrectly, it's actually gray. You could see it better in this picture here. So start with about four different stems. And the whole idea is to create the inside skeleton system of your bird. So you're not creating the exterior edge of the bird, but you're creating the interior, um, let's say you can call it the spine of the bird. So I'm gonna twist two together at the tip here for the beak, and I'm gonna keep twisting it down for the middle of the bird's body. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than this image just because when I start felting, it, the felt will also make it a little bit bigger than the image. And the end of the twisted pieces will become the ends of the tail here. So that's really long and I'm going to want to clip that and I'll do that in a moment. This stem I'm going to fold in half and it's going to become the feet. And I'm going to attach it to the spine like this and twist it around the spine a couple times like that. So we have the beak, we have the back, and it's a little bit bigger than my image and that's okay. And now I can start actually wrapping the wool around these pieces to form the bulk, the mass of the body. And you know what, I'm going to unwrap the end for the tail because the tail is flat but it's also wide. So I'm going to want one stem to go up one side of the tail and another stem to go up the other and kind of put the wool in between to make the tail. I can change my mind if that's really not how I want to make it as I go along, but that's pretty much going to be it for my armature for my bird. All the bulking will be done with the wool itself. 